Our project is biometric and face mask detection based access control system in pandemic situations. Me, myself, Praveen Gupta, along with my groupmates, Kishore Kumar Chai and Surajit Chaudhary, has done the project under the supervision of Professor Kandar Kumar Sharma Sir. This is the outline of our project. The introduction of our project. Our project is very trending right now since wearing the face mask is very compulsory. Our project is based on the face mask and biometric places, any places, any public or any offices or buildings. To reduce the problem arising during the pandemic situation, providing access to people. Theoretical background. Fingerprint recognition is one of the most widely used biometric techniques for first and authentications. It is used in two ways. Fingerprint verification, fingerprint identification. The performance of AFRS depends on the quality of the fingerprint images for both modes. Face marks is also a very popular problem for image processing and computer vision. Recognition of the two factors will help automatic control in entrance in any places. Motivation. Our motivation is from the COVID-19 pandemic situation where wearing the mask is compulsory for the safety of ourselves and also for everyone. A dev, an integrated system is also organized with fingerprint for any premises, building, offices, everywhere. Problem formulation. For the mask detection system, the data of the faces with and without masks are first loaded. Then the mask system is used in real time to detect the mask. Then a machine learning based algorithm is used to first improve the quality of the fingerprint. Then it is loaded to the fingerprint and with that help of the fingerprint, the authentication is done. Application. The application of the biometric systems are logical access control, physical access control, time, attendance, office everywhere. And the face mask detection is trending nowadays in everywhere like offices, school, hospitals, densely populated area, everywhere. This is the access block diagram of our project. First, the face mask detection part is done. Then the servo mode rotates and open the first lock. And then the fingerprint part is done. When the fingerprint is detected, it accesses the second lock, and we get the full access to any door or any premises. This is the flowchart of our project. Start first. We have integrated the system along with the face mask and the fingerprint. If the face mask is not detected and the fingerprint is not detected. The door will remain closed. If the face mask is detected, fingerprint is not detected, then also the door will remain closed. If the face mask is not detected and the fingerprint is matched, then also the door will remain closed. The door will only open when both the conditions are satisfied. Like the face mask is also detected and the fingerprint is also matched. This is a block diagram for a mask detection system. First, we load the data set of a mask which contains both person wearing masks and without masks. Then we train the mask classifier with Keras and TensorFlow. Then we store the face mask classifier to a DIX. After, loading, after storing the classifier to a DIX, then we load the model from the classifier, mask classifier from the DIX. Then we detect using the video live stream of our web camera. We tested the region of interest. From the region of interest, it apply a classifier of masks and video masks and show the results. This is a block diagram for the integration of Python IDE with, Ar with Arduino Uno. First, we define a function to control the lock in the Python. Then we call the controller code in the function test. Then we load the PyFormata to Arduino Uno and upload the code to the Arduino using the standard PyFormata and then run the code. And the lock and unlock happen according to the face marks detection. This is a flow chart for the face marks. First, the face marks model is made. Then it is integrated with the PyParameter, Arduino Uno, and the Python script all are communicated together. And when we put our marks, then the door will open. And if we don't wear our marks, then the door will close. This is a circuit diagram for the face marks unlocking system. We are use, use Arduino as servo motor and a lock. The Arduino is given a power supply of 5 to 9 volt, which is connected to a servo motor and the servo motor is connected to a lock. When the face mask is detected, the servo motor rotates and unlocks the door. The servo motor is connected to the 5 volt of the Arduino and also 
to the ground. The servo motor is also connected to the pin number 10 of the Arduino. Let's talk about the training part of our model. Building the neural network is the first step. Then the convolution is done in two pairs, max pool and max pool and convolution, which is then followed by flattened and dropout layer in one day to ensure overfitting. Then two days layer for classification is done. Image generation and augmentation is done. Then after the nap of we save the best model. Check when we set a checkpoint to save the best model while training an image so that our model get the best model in every epoch then, the, uh, then we save the model and the training of the model is done the library used here are TensorFlow, Keras, Esquilon, Immutis, NumPy, OS as we know TensorFlow is used as an open source programming machine learning for li library for machine learning and here you, we have used Keras along with machine learning this is also an open source for, for Python, which uses the neural network. Keras as an interface for the neural network. And also we use ASCII-Learn, which is used for featuring various classification, regression, clustering algorithms. And Emulities, which is used for basic image processing such as rotation, reconstruction, resizing, and displaying the map plot leap, or you can see the graph. And the NumPy, it is used for the Python program language for adding support for large multi-dimension areas matrices along with a large collection of high level made function to operate the program. Steps of face mask detection. First we save take the images of the person with pain without mask and then save them both the images and train the images. Let's see what does the facial landmark allow us and how it detects the person is wearing mask or not. The facial landmark allows us to detect whether the eyes, nose, mouth, jaw lines. To use the facial landmark, we must build a data set of person wearing a mask and not. Then it extracts the region of interest. From the region of interest, it detects the jawline, eyes, nose, mouth, etc. according to the description. Then we use OpenCV to detect the marks. If the nose and mouth are and jawlines are covered by a mask, then it shows no marks and it predicts that the person is not wearing a mask. This is the testing part. This is a graph while training our pro training training our model. Here we can see the training loss and validation loss, training accuracy, validation accuracy. The starting the validation training loss and the training accuracy and validation loss and validation accuracy are more. But as soon as the time, the model get better and better. Testing load the model first. Then test the model using OpenCV and detect the face marks with and without marks using computer webcam. These are some of the images taken while performing our experiment for the first time. Here you can see. Here is a working of our model of our face mask detection part. I am not wearing my face mask properly. So I am not getting the access. So access not granted and a door will not get unlocked but as soon as I put my marks on and I wipe my nose you can see it's stranded you can see it's granted now and the door will get unlocked and even if you are not wearing the marks it will not give you permission to enter any services This was a video of our working model of our project for the face mask detection part. Let's talk about the fingerprint part now. We have used fingerprint sensors, Arduino Uno, Relay, Solonet Log. The Arduino Uno is given a power supply of 5 to 9 volt and a Solonet Log is given a power supply of 12 volt 9 ampere using an adapter. This is a flowchart of fingerprint based unlock system. First we unlock our fingerprint make the door unlock circuit then we put our fingerprint sensor and if the fingerprint is authorized then the door opens or if the fingerprint is not authorized then the remain closed this is a circuit diagram of the fingerprint based lock system 
this is an Arduino Uno, a relay, a solenoid lock, a 12 volt adapter, and a fingerprint sensor. The Arduino is given a power supply 5 to 9 volt. VCC of the relay, VCC and ground or relay are connected to the Arduino Uno, and the input is given to the 12 number pin of the Arduino Uno, and also the fingerprint is connected to the pin number 3 and 4 and 2 of Arduino Uno and the VCC and ground are also connected respectively and a 12 volt power supply is given to the solenoid block using a 12 volt adapter this is the working approach of our project the first the webcam detects the person is wearing marks or not then it sends a signal to the Arduino Uno and the Arduino Uno sends a signal to the servo motor the servo motor if the person is wearing mask then the servo motor rotates and the lock set unlock and if the person is not wearing mask then the servo motor does not rotate and the door remains closed as in the fingerprint part if you put the fingerprint the fingerprint is loaded to the Arduino and as soon as the fingerprint is authorized the finger it sends the signal to the Arduino and Arduino sends the signal to the relay and the door get unlock and the solenoid get unlocked and we get a full access to our any premises or building or where we put the system let's show the working model of our project so now i will enroll my fingerprint so i am running the fingerprint sensor enrollment code i will type id1 it can store 128 fingerprint so i type id1 and press enter and, uh, and now I will put my fingerprint on the fingerprint sensor remove finger it is saying to place same finger again and ID1 is stored putting my authenticate finger the lock will open and if I put my unauthorized finger then the lock will remain closed as soon as it will detect mask, the servo motor will start rotating and will open the door. And as soon as it will detect no mask, the servo motor will stop. So you can see I am not wearing a mask and my first lock is which will be opened by mask detection, by face mask detection is still closed. Now I will uh, wear the mask. I uh, detected the mask and the servo motor is rotating and the first lock has been opened. You can see the fingerprint uh, is blinking, the LED of fingerprint is blinking. Now I will put my authenticate thumb and the door has been opened. And you can see uh, this was the first lock which has been opened through face mask detection and this is the second lock which has been opened through fingerprint and my door has been unlocked thank you this was a short video of our working model of our project and it is a part of improving the quality of the fingerprint let's talk about it this is the block diagram of our fingerprint biometric system First we have loaded the data set, then we have read the data set and split the data set into test and a train set. Then we have normalized the train and the test set. Then we have defined convolution neural network. After that we have defined the loss functions, then compile the model and feed the load model on a data and the prediction on the unseen data. Here we have used the libraries that are matplotly, PIL, SignSpy and Keras and TensorFlow. TensorFlow is an open source network as we all know for training and any model in machine learning and Keras is a backend of TensorFlow which is also an open source net neural network. Keras is the interface for the neural network. And sklearn is and science file is scientific computing. It is used for pooling and max pooling and minimum pooling. It is also used for scientific computing. PIL is a Python image learning library for loading and manipulating images. Matplotlib is used for plotting the graph. This is the graph of our fingerprint. 
the dot blue line represent the training loss and the red line represent the validation loss at the starting we can see the losses are more but as soon as with the time the losses gets on decreasing and the model becomes better and better these are these are some of the images of the fingerprint that we have reconstructed and improved the quality of the fingerprint the fo part you can see the test images that are taken to improve the quality and below images are the reconstructed images of the test images that that are from after give by training in the model and giving it the best quality after re recreating and reconstruction now the quality of the finger fingerprints are improved than before this is a grand chart of our project from october to december we have done the collecting of the information and data january to february the training of the face mask detection model has been done march to april testing the face detection model has been done april to may training of the fingerprint model has been done may to june testing the fingerprint model has been done and july to august we have completed a prototype and the thesis can in a project we have also done the face mask detection part using open cb and we have tested the model when we have using the live cam and we have used a servo motor on it and according to the face mask detection the face get unlocked as you can we have seen in our video and also that we have trained a fingerprint model to improve the quality of the fingerprint and also we have used in our project the fingerprint to give the access to any premises this is our literature review these are some of our references as you can see thank you so now i will enroll my fingerprint so i am running the fingerprint sensor enrollment code i will type id1 it can store 128 fingerprint so i type id1 and press enter and uh, and now i will put my fingerprint on the fingerprint sensor remove finger it is saying to place same finger again and id1 is stored putting my authenticate finger the lock will open and if i put my unauthorized finger then the lock will remain closed as soon as it will detect mark the servo motor will start rotating and will open the door and as soon as it will detect no mass, the servo motor will stop. So you can see I am not wearing a mask and my first lock uh, is it will be opened by mask detection, by face mask detection is still closed. Now I will uh, wear the mask and it detected the mask and the servo motor is rotating and the first lock has been opened you can see the fingerprint uh, is blinking the led of fingerprint is blinking now i will put my authenticate thumb and the door has been opened and you can see uh, this was the first lock which had been opened through face mask detection and this is the second lock which has been opened through fingerprint and my door has been unlocked. Thank you.